Hi, this is Esox, your LMMS robot. I want to make something special. Hope you enjoy. First I would like to point out two things. So you can get better mixes with little work. Look at the master channel. At first load an equalizer and regulate the frequencies that may oversteer or make some noise. At second, load a limiter. So you are surfing against hard hits, crushing sounds, and something more. In this tutorial I want to show you how to create a unique rhythm. So at first you must understand how the LFO controllers are working. By clicking on this button you are able to access the controller units. Click there and you add a new controller. Now let us take a look at him. A good way to show how it works is to automize an endpoint of a sample. To connect a knob or slider to a controller just make a right click on it. And choose connect with the controller. Select the controller you want to bind. Activate the connection and click OK. Now you can see, the controller is working. Look at the line. In an LFO controller you can choose between different waveforms. Just click on them and look how they are working. The MT is setting the area of the waveform. And you can see later, it also set the direction. Now let's set the MT to zero, and take a look at the base. Here you are able to set the base for the LFO. Adjust the MT to the right or to the left, and the LFO will follow this direction. You can also set the speed of the controller. With a right click on it, it is possible to sync it to a note. Now let us disconnect it. I think you have understand the working of LFO controllers. Let us make some beat. Click in to get some triggers for the bass drum. Sounds basic, really cool. Maybe we can fit it up by adjusting the bass tone. Yeah, let us connect it to the LFO controller. When you are using the LFO controller in the beta bass line editor, every time you start new it sounds different. But it is easy to get the right sound. Just start the beat line in the song editor and the LFO will start again with you. Now we can make the last adjustments to the LFO, and we are using the face shifting to kill the clicks.
to set the LEGHT of the notes. Also, you can make more or less arpeggio. Just try it. With an LFO, you are able to trigger on slash off to every effect or channel. Look at this.